Hey guys, Bruce Lund, founder and director of 90 Day Sales Manager. I'm recommitting to pumping out weekly content to our database. And one of the topics I want to focus on this week is this concept of help. I'm in a slump. Help, I'm overwhelmed. You know, as the summer months come to an end, and, and whether you're in sales or business or really in anything in life, we, we can go through these ups and downs, especially in business. You know, we can have the, the best month ever and follow that up with a goose egg. And so a lot of my friends right now, I feel like they're in a slump. I feel like they're, whether it's the energy or their confidence levels down, or maybe they've lost the purpose of why they're doing what they're doing. And so what I want to do is just kind of go through my three-step process on how I help work out of my own slumps, because I'm not uh, immune to going through slumps just like you are, okay? And so there's three things that I try to do to build, maintain, protect my confidence and get momentum and keep momentum on my side. Number one is every single month I will recommit or reset my goals. And what I mean by that is there's sometimes we're not doing what we know we should be doing. Or maybe we've lost the why or the purpose behind it. And so a lot of times we got to recommit to that thing. And so one of my one of the ba- uh, favorite expressions I've heard is you got to go there in the mind before you can go there in the body. So a lot of things that I, I want to basically fly all over the country. And I want to impact thousands of people, whether it's nationally or internationally. And so I'm recommitting to that in my business. Well, there's a lot of different things that I have to do in order to go do that thing. And so I got to recommit to doing the bases, getting back into the basics of business. That way it frees me up to go do these things that I really want to go do. And so I think that can cause a slump is, is you know where you want to be. And, and instead of trying to get there, instead of already seeing yourself there, you're focused on all the mundane things, okay? So stay focused on the big picture. Now, you're going to have to do a lot of the daily grind things that will help you get there, but you got to stay focused on the daily picture. So either recommitting to that big fi- uh, vision or resetting it. What's working, what's not working, and why is it important to me, okay? So that's an internal mindset that I really do every single month is I spend – uh, two to three hours and I just I, I go somewhere quiet I go somewhere creative typically on a Saturday morning I just did this this past weekend and I just think man where do I really want to go for me and my business and it keeps me motivated I look at my marketing I look at my branding I look at my why I look at our operations I look at us scaling and it really just re-energizes me to go out and do those okay and then I use external factors with that external factors would be you know mini vacations if I can just do this this then this then I can go take two, three, four, five days off and really unwind and think big picture, okay? So that's the external outside things, is, is, are these mini vacations. And that gets into really topic number two then, which are the operational things. There are certain things you can change up your routine, you can change up your habits, you can change up the conversations. And so I truly believe I'm one conversation, I'm one call, I'm one meeting away for some kind of big breakthrough in my own life. And so that's the mindset trick that I have to use in myself. But there are different operational things that I can do to, to, to not have it be mundane, to, to not same shit, different day concept, right? And so one of the things that I do then, I might get up 30 minutes early one day a week just to get in the office a little bit earlier, just to catch up on operational things, right? I might uh, do yoga in the morning three days a week versus me not doing it. I might make an extra 10 phone calls because I wasn't doing it. So there's little things that you can change up. I might go out on a Wednesday and give myself permission to go out and have a nice dinner with a, a friend or a significant other, you know, versus wait till Friday or Saturday. So so what I would just recommend to you is, is change it up, mix it up a little bit. You know, if you're in a slump, you got to do something different. What got us here won't get us there, right? The definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over and over again. If you're in burnout mode, if you're in mechanical mode, you got to figure out what what's going on to switch it up a little bit, Okay. And so for me, it's, it's usually getting back into the basics of business. I have this 5-3-1-1 concept of the 10 outbound calls that I do every single day to help me grow my business. That's me getting back into the basics. There's three marketing activities I do every single day. That's getting back into the basics. Or the other thing you can do is just learn something, right? That's an operational, you know, listen to podcasts in the morning. One of the things that I do, and this gets into to, to, uh, the third part of this, is really changing your state of mind. So I take cold showers in the morning now and, and I listen to podcasts. And so that's a way for me to change my state of mind. So that's the other thing that really throughout a day is you got to change your state. You got to change your state, whether that's through intentions, whether that's through gratitude, whether that's through affirmations and just reaffirming in yourself. I am really good at what I do, 
right? Or I intend to do this, this, and this, or I'm thankful of this, this, and this. Uh, there's all kinds of science that's backed by that part of it. But every day, carve out 15 minutes, whether it's in the morning or whether it's in the afternoon, whether it's in the evening, or even do it multiple times where you revisit your affirmations, when you revisit your gratitudes, and, and you revisit your intentions. And then that way you can really recommit to that every single day. Guys, we all get in burnout mode. We get mechanical. And so I'm trying to help you get rejuvenated. I'm trying to help you tap back into the why. I'm trying to help you change your state or maybe change the routine or habit that's just holding you back to getting into that next level. So every single week, I'm going to come to you with some kind of sales service mindset uh, oriented things that can help you take your business to the next level or even just your life to the next level.